Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Copper Shop Productions. In today's video, I'm back out of my parents' farm working on the yellow R32 again. Um, basically today, we are going to be painting the engine bay, uh, which is an awesome step forward, because once the engine bay is painted, all I have to do is get the engine ready, gearbox ready, um, put them together, drop them in, and away we go. Which will be awesome. So, yeah, let's jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to be doing uh, is rolling it out, spraying it down uh, with the gurney if I can get the gurney to work. If not, I'll just have to use degreaser and wipes and it'll take a lot longer, but obviously I have to do it. Um, yeah, clean it all down, make sure it's all nice and pretty. Um, and then I'll go from there, I'll scuff it, do whatever else I have to do to prep it for paint, clean it. We've got isotope, um, metho and all kinds of stuff to clean it before paint. And yeah, so the colour we're going to be painting is just black. I thought, you know, that area down there looks good enough. Why not just paint the rest to match? And really all I want to be painting is just everything there, up around there, everything that we've, you know, grinded back and welded over. So all these areas and all that. So that they're all pretty again and so that they can't rust again. Um, and then send it. So, yeah. So these are all the supplies I've gotten to paint the engine bay. Uh, so I've got some plastic to some plastic to mask things off, masking tape. Uh, these little things come in handy. You roll them up really tight, and then you put them in any, in any bolt holes, and then they expand to fill the hole, so you don't have to worry about you know your threads getting paint on them and all that kind of crap. Because <clears throat> that'd be really annoying to have to go over it with a tap and die set and fix it all after. So you know it's a cheap, easy little fix. Um, wax and grease remover to clean it and prep it before paint. I got this. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it or not. It's just attached to the angle grinder. Um, obviously lots of little bits to attach to the angle grinder to see, uh, to um, try and clean it if there's any parts that might have surface rust or anything like that. Not sure if we'll need it, but I got it just in case. I'd rather be prepared than not. Um, rags, obviously to use with wax and grease remover. A little bit of sandpaper, I'm not sure if I can need that either. That's more for just sort of the final finish. Um, then we've got uh, enamel primer, uh, two matte blacks, uh, and degrees obviously to clean as well. So matte black just because it's easier to get a good sort of finish um, and I don't know what colour the car is going to be painted in the end. For all I know, you know, I could end up painting it bright pink and, you know, painting the engine bay yellow doesn't match with my bright pink, so matte black is easier and, yeah, I'm going to take the rear off, this off, so it's just plain old engine bay stuff. Let's go. You are everything I never knew. I'm going to be going through cleaning the entire engine bay with a uh, degreaser and a scrubber. It's going to take me a while. Uh, well. like two hours in doesn't feel like I've made that much progress honestly this is the biggest pain in the ass I wish I just had a fucking gurney here so I could do it quickly um after further inspection though I have decided that I'll only be painting over where the yellow is and obviously up there um just because the black that is here is pretty good paint it's, it's fine it doesn't need to be anything more than that um so just be painting on the front here, up, um, up all the yellow. So for the 
most half it's clean, so we have to scuff it and it's still honestly after ages it's still not clean. But head down, get there eventually. Uh, I'm not going to bother cleaning down there because I'm not, gonna, not going to be painting down there. Um, so really all I wanted to clean was this area here. It's all clean, good enough. Uh, I'm now going to go over, scuff it and then clean it again. Yay! Right, so all three are cooked now, so I think I'll um, spray it down with the air compressor again, clean it with ISO, um, push it back into the shed, and then start masking. I think she's all clean, clean enough I guess, I don't know, uh, I'm going to start masking off, mainly so that I know exactly where I do have to clean more and don't, so obviously I'm not going to clean all the way up to the windscreen because I'm not going to paint all up the windscreen, so I'm going to mask and then basically going through, fine comb everything and make sure that it is ready to be painted. The bay, it's yellow, I'm going to paint over all that. That's why I didn't wash down here, because I'm not going to paint. Um, so those grinding pads did come in handy. I basically wanted to grind off all the extra cartridges on here. I like just like went over and did it really lightly, obviously. Um, just so that it's all cleaned up nice. Alright, she's all masked off now. Um, it's good enough. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to go around and clean the absolute crap out of it. Um, and then jump in and give it some paint. That's it. It looks particularly odd, but a little bit tricky. I'm going to give it one soda, another one soda with the cleaning rag. Try and get anything else I might have missed off. Alright guys, so of course in typical top, top Productions manner, uh, as soon as I started painting or doing something important, the uh, GoPro camera died, uh, the battery in the camera died, which sucks because it means I missed a bit, but fortunately I caught it uh, not too late, 
So you get to miss me putting on the first coat of primer. Big deal. Um, we'll say it's not perfect. I knew it wasn't going to be, and I don't really care because it's a drift car at the end of the day. Um, and the only reason I'm doing this is so that the parts that I have taken the paint fully off of and welded back together and blah blah blah, uh, I have coverage over them. And I thought, why not do the whole engine bay while I'm at it so it matches? Um, so. Yeah, I'll show you the imperfections and the parts where I think it's not too bad. Let's go. So this is the only, uh, this is only the first coat. That's why you can still see yellow through the majority of it. Um, yeah, I'm getting a good coverage, I suppose. Along the front here, one of the parts I thought would be the easiest to paint. I was thinking of the artist. Didn't expect to come like that. So yeah, like I said, the first coat, uh, I'll leave it for a while to dry, and then I'll go over the second coat, and uh, that'll be the thick coat. I don't know if I'll do two light and then one thick, or just one light, one thick, and then just jump straight into the paint. It is matte black paint, so it'll be a little bit more forgiving, but nonetheless, I'd like it to come out good. I don't want to go to a car show and for everyone to be picking on me. Oh, regardless, I feel like there will be if I don't paint the entire car. Um, but yeah, let's get in there. Second coat is done. Uh, I think that's just about it for the primer. So the third coat will mainly just be going over a few spots here and there to still show yellow. Um, pretty happy with how it's going, honestly. Like, uh, I think it's pretty happy with how it's going, honestly. Like, it's it's coming through nicely um, for a home job with rattle cans, you know, dirt floored shed. Um, so, yeah, let's see how it goes. While I'm waiting for the, sh uh, the coats to dry, I'm also going to be loading up this. This is the RB20 that's going to be going in the car. Um, as to the state it's in, who knows? Um, I know that it's reasonably okay. Uh, I mean, it was when I sat there. It did not get when I sat there, but it's been sitting like this. So it's kind of up in the air. So that's why I'm going to be taking it um, back to Canberra, back home, um, and going to be. Basically pulling it down as much as needed, seeing if it is completely munted, uh, in which case I'll just buy another cheap RB20. Uh, if it's not completely munted, then I'll put a little bit of work into it, a little bit of money, not much, just the bare essentials basically, to be able to get it to the point where I can just throw it straight into the uh, yellow 32. Alright, so it's been about an hour since I did the last coat of primer. Now I'm going to shake up the paint and go for it. So, let's go. Cool.